and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to have a look at metal reactivity. Metals can be arranged in order of reactivity by comparing how quickly they react with oxygen, water and acid. By looking at their reactions, you can then put them into an order. This is the metal reactivity order here. Potassium, sodium, lithium and calcium all react with water, potassium reacting the most violently. Magnesium, aluminium, zinc and iron all react with acid, with magnesium reacting the most quickly. And then copper and silver will react with oxygen. Gold does not react. The reactivity has implications for the reactions that they can get involved in and also their extraction, which we will look at in a separate video. You need to be able to write reactions for metals reacting with oxygen, water and acid. Let's first look at writing word equations for these reactions. When metals react with oxygen, they form metal oxides. For example, if zinc reacts with oxygen, it will form zinc oxide. When metals react with water, they will form a metal hydroxide and hydrogen will also be released. For example, if lithium reacts with water, you will produce lithium hydroxide and hydrogen. When metals react with acid, they will produce a salt and hydrogen. Before we look at a specific reaction, we should recap how the acids and the salt names relate. If you have hydrochloric acid, then you will produce a chloride salt. If you have nitric acid, you'll produce a nitrate salt. If you have sulfuric acid, you'll produce a sulfate salt. And if you have phosphoric acid, you'll produce a phosphate salt. Magnesium reacting with sulfuric acid, you'll produce magnesium sulfate and hydrogen. Pause the video now and try these examples. Sodium plus oxygen will make sodium oxide. Calcium plus water will make calcium hydroxide and hydrogen. Aluminium plus nitric acid will make aluminium nitrate and hydrogen. Copper plus oxygen will produce copper oxide. Iron plus hydrochloric acid will produce iron chloride and hydrogen. Potassium plus water will give potassium hydroxide and hydrogen. Let's look now at writing these as formulae equation. We'll start with zinc plus oxygen to give zinc oxide. Zinc only has a valency of two, so we're looking at zinc two oxide. When you write out the equation, you need to remember diatomic elements such as oxygen, which will be O2. You then need to use valency rules to allow you to write the formulae. Both zinc and oxygen have a valency of 2, giving ZnO. You then need to balance the equation. Now let's look at lithium plus water to give lithium hydroxide and hydrogen. Oxide is one of the group ions which you'll find on page 8 of the databook. It has a valency of 1, as does lithium. This means that the formula for lithium hydroxide is LiOH. Hydrogen is another diatomic element, H2. This equation is then balanced by putting a 2 in front of the lithium, the water and the lithium hydroxide. Finally, we have magnesium plus sulfuric acid to give magnesium sulfate and hydrogen. Sulfate is another group ion that can be found on page 8 of the databook. It has a valency of 2, as does magnesium. This means that the formula for magnesium sulfate is MgSO4. This equation is already balanced. Pause the video now and try these examples.
Thank you for watching my video. I hope that you found it helpful. Please remember to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified of new videos. You can also follow me on Twitter at Miss Adams Chem and Instagram Miss Adams Chemistry for updates on new videos and flashcards throughout the year. Bye for now!